What's up guys? Welcome back to Fish Over Chicks Woodworking. My name is Peter and today I'm showing you the easiest way to make a concealment coffee table. So let's just jump into it. All right guys, so the first thing you're gonna need uh, for this build is two support pieces that are 37 inches long. Uh, these are 3 4 inches thick and they are three inches wide. So you're gonna need two of those. Then you're gonna need two more support pieces. Uh, these ones are 17 inches long, and again, three quarter inches thick, and three inches wide. So those four are gonna be for your supports. Then you're gonna need eight pieces for your legs. So these pieces are 17 and a half inches long. They are two and a half inches wide, and again, three quarter inches thick. So you're gonna need eight of those. So for the bottom part of the concealment table, what we're gonna use is this uh, flag that I built a while ago. If you recall, this was the one that used to be behind me. Uh, we took it down to throw that flag up and uh, just with this one being in the garage, it ended up getting a little warped and uh, tore out there a little bit. So we haven't really had a use for this. So then we thought, wouldn't it be cool if this was the bottom and you could slide the top off and see your guns on the American flag. So we decided that we're gonna use this. We are gonna have to cut it down a little bit, but we figured instead of just having it laying around, you know, half broken, not doing anything, we might as well build it into a project. So that's what we're gonna do here. So if you don't have an American flag that you wanna put on the bottom and you're just gonna use a piece of plywood, then you're gonna want to be eight and a half inches tall by 37 inches long, uh, cause that's how big we're gonna cut this down to. So it'll be the underside of the concealment table. Now this piece is gonna be the top of our coffee table. This is part of a kitchen table that I was building that uh, didn't work out the way I wanted it to. So right now it's 48 inches long by 20 inches. We're gonna cut it down to 40 inches by 20 inches, so that's gonna be the top surface area of our coffee table. But uh, we're gonna put this aside right now and start building the box that the guns and stuff will actually be in. So we'll come back to this later. The first thing you're gonna do is take your four support pieces and you're just gonna build the box Nice and easy. Basically, all I'm gonna do here is uh, throw a couple screws in there and just screw it in there. Um, nothing fancy. Guys, fun fact about Fish Over Chicks Woodworking. Um, now that we have a camera, John is here operating the camera in every video. Before then, I was filming it myself with my camera, and that was not as good. So everyone, round of applause for John. All right, guys, so now that we've got uh, the box made, now we are going to go ahead and attach the bottom to it. So basically, this is what it's gonna look like. Obviously, we're gonna have to cut it down a little bit because uh, it's a little bit too big, but that's what it's gonna look like. I should say, guys, if you wanna know how to make this American flag so you can have this either for a wall art or for the bottom of your table, uh, click right here. Um, that video will be there, I believe. It will be that side. Um, but anyways, yeah, let's continue building this. We're just gonna place uh, the piece right on top where you want it to be, and we're just gonna line it up perfectly there. All right guys, so we've got it all screwed down there. There it is, looking awesome. Really happy with the way it's coming out so far. Obviously we gotta take this piece off there. We'll go ahead and we'll route that off real quick. But um, when I was uh, screwing it down, I realized it's a little bit more sturdy than I thought it would be. I actually don't think we're gonna need any more supports underneath it. Obviously if you got really heavy stuff in there, go for it, but I mean, it's holding the drills. No problem at all. So I think we're gonna be good just like that. A few stars cut off, but I mean, that's what's gonna happen because it's not the exact right size. So not perfect, but definitely a great way to use a scrap flag. So let's go ahead and route that off and uh, get it nice and squared up and then we'll move on to the legs. All right, so we have got this box all done. Looking great, I am very excited to see how this is gonna turn out. But uh, for now, we need to do the legs. So we've got all eight of those pieces we cut earlier for the legs. So what we're gonna do is put this down on the table and then these legs are basically just going to go here and here and that is gonna be the legs. Super simple um, design for the legs. I'm not doing anything fancy. When you put the legs together like this, one side is going to be longer than the other, which is fine. We're just gonna make sure 
that uh, the long side is um, consistent with where the other long side is. So if uh, you want to do like this and have the shorter side right here like that, you're going to want to make sure that the shorter side for the next one is also right here just like that so it's not looking weird. Think short side, short side, long side, long side. That should help. All right guys, so we've got the legs on, it's looking great. Here's what it's looking like with the compartment, looking really good. Um, so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and grab those sliders, get those installed, and then get the tabletop on it. So we're just using these really cheap ones. I actually had these left over. These are 18 inches long, which is perfect. And where we're gonna be putting these is actually on the sides right here. There's gonna be some space in the middle, but that's gonna be okay because you're not gonna see it because the tabletop's gonna be over it. Uh, so as long as we've got uh, these screwed, in here and in here, you'll be fine. Um, so let's get these out of the package and I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. So now that you've got those in, what we're gonna do is grab the other part that's gonna go into these sliders and we're gonna screw them to a piece of wood just like this and we'll get the exact measurements in a second there. But just to show you what we're gonna do, we're gonna get this on a piece of wood so then we can slide this just like that. And this will connect to the top of our tabletop uh, once we get that all set. So uh, now we're gonna figure out exactly how big we want this piece of wood to be for both sides. So uh, me and John are gonna figure that out and then we'll get back to you. One and three eighth inches wide uh, by one half inch thick and they were 17 inches long with a little bit of overhang. Uh, but we've decided to go flush to this wheel right here uh, because that is the one you're gonna see more and doesn't really matter if there's an overhang. So basically, here they are. This one clips on there and then this one, you just come down here and, I did that wrong. And there you go. So now you've got both of them on there like that. Um, and what we're gonna do now is get our tabletop. So our tabletop, we have finished up. So the final length of the tabletop was 42 inches and one quarter inch long by 20 inches wide and of course three fourth inches uh, thick. We are going to center it up and we're gonna put some glue on top of these tracks. So we, uh, we glue it down perfectly and we're just gonna have to hold it there for a little bit till the glue gets a little bit harder because uh, we don't really wanna put any screws through the top to connect it. All right guys, so we've let it dry for about an hour. We're gonna keep the clamps on but we flipped them up so we could actually uh, use it and uh, here it is. Obviously, very heavy right now because of the clamps, but uh, there it is, guys. You have plenty of room for all of your prized possessions right there on the table. I'm um, very happy with the way it came out, and it clicks, too, just right in there. Uh, so now we're going to let this dry for a little bit longer, and then me and John are going to go ahead and stain it and paint it. We're going to paint the legs and the supports white, and then we're going to stain the top a nice dark walnut. Um, we're not going to show you that because there's no need to. So the next shot, it will be all done. Go. Yeah. So here you have it, the finished product. Uh, me and John just stained it and painted it white. And we're super happy with the way it came out. It works way better than uh, I was even hoping. It is awesome. So here we go. Just like that comes open. And uh, I've stored the drills in it for now. Plenty of space to uh, put those in and have it shut. I like the way uh, it just clips at the end. It's a nice farmhouse style coffee table sitting in your living room and then you open it up and you got all your stuff in there on top of the American flag. Pretty dang cool. So uh, yeah. So guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do decide to make your own concealment coffee table, we'd love to see some pictures of it. You can email fishoverchickswoodworking at gmail.com. Please comment down below any other video ideas you have. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe. But uh, until next video, thank you so much for watching. Guys, if you like that video, click right here and you can watch a video of me teaching you how to make some wall art of your own state.